CIET NCERT presents Audiobook of Mathematics for Class 6 Chapter 14 Practical Geometry Page 274 Part 1 14.1 Introduction We see a number of shapes with which we are familiar. We also make a lot of pictures. These pictures include different shapes. We have learnt about some of these shapes in earlier chapters as well. Why don't you list those shapes that you know about along with how they appear? In this chapter we shall learn to make these shapes. In making these shapes we need to use some tools. We shall begin with listing these tools, describing them and looking at how they are used. Here is a tabular presentation. We have four columns. Column 1 serial number, column 2 name and figure, column 3 description and column 4 use. 1. The ruler or the straight edge. A ruler ideally has no markings on it. However, the ruler in your instruments box is graduated into centimeters along one edge and sometimes into inches along the other edge to draw line segments and to measure their lengths. 2. The compasses. We have the picture of a compass here. A pair, a pointer on one end and a pencil on the other. To mark off equal lengths but not to measure them, to draw arcs and circles. Page 275 3. The divider A pair of pointers To compare lengths 4. Set squares Two triangular pieces One of them has 45 degrees, 45 degrees, 90 degree angles at the vertices and the other has 30 degrees, 60 degrees, 90 degree angles at the vertices to draw perpendicular and parallel lines. 5. The protractor a semicircular device graduated into 180 degree parts. The measure starts from 0 degree on the right hand side and ends with 180 degrees on the left hand side and vice versa to draw and measure angles. We are going to consider ruler and compasses constructions using ruler only to draw lines and compasses only to draw arcs. Be careful while doing these constructions. Here are some tips to help you. A. Draw thin lines and mark points lightly. B. Maintain instruments with sharp tips and fine edges. C. Have two pencils in the box, one for insertion into the compasses and the other to draw lines or curves and mark points. Page 276 14.2 The Circle Look at the wheel shown here. We have the picture of a wheel to the side. Every point on its boundary is at an equal distance from its center. Can you mention a few such objects and draw them? Think about five such objects which have this shape. 14.2.1 Construction of a circle when its radius is known. Suppose we want to draw a circle of radius 3 cm. We need to use our compasses. Here are the steps to follow. Step 1. Open the compasses for the required radius of 3 cm. Step 2. Mark a point with a sharp pencil where we want the center of the circle to be. Name it as O. Step 3. Place the pointer of the compasses on O. Step 4. Turn the compasses slowly to draw the circle. Be careful to complete the movement around in one instant. Think, discuss and write. How many circles can you draw with a given center O and a point, say, P? 
Exercise 14.1 1. Draw a circle of radius 3.2 cm 2. With the same center O, draw two circles of radii 4 cm and 2.5 cm 3. Draw a circle and any two of its diameters If you join the ends of these diameters, what is the figure obtained? What figure is obtained if the diameters are perpendicular to each other? How do you check your answer? 4. Draw any circle and mark points A, B and C such that A. A is on the circle B. B is in the interior of the circle C. C is in the exterior of the circle 5. Let AB be the centers of two circles of equal radii. Draw them so that each one of them passes through the center of the other. Let them intersect at C and D. Examine whether segments AB and CD are at right angles. Page 277 14.3 A line segment Remember that a line segment has two end points. This makes it possible to measure its length with a ruler. If we know the length of a line segment, it becomes possible to represent it by a diagram. Let us see how we do this. 14.3.1 Construction of a line segment of a given length Suppose we want to draw a line segment of length 4.7 cm. We can use our ruler and mark two points A and B which are 4.7 cm apart. Join A and B and get segment AB. While marking the points A and B, we should look straight down at the measuring device. Otherwise, we will get an incorrect value. Use of ruler and compasses. A better method would be to use compasses to construct a line segment of a given length. Step 1. Draw a line L. Mark a point A on a line L. We have the figure of this. Step 2. Place the compass's pointer on the zero mark of the ruler. Open it to place the pencil point up to the 4.7 cm mark. A picture shows how this is done. Step 3. Taking caution that the opening of the compasses has not changed, Place the pointer on A and swing an arc to cut L at B. A picture shows the same. Step 4. Segment AB is a line segment of required length. We have the segment AB given here in the picture. Page 278. Exercise 14.2. 1. Draw a line segment of length 7.3 cm using a ruler. 2. Construct a line segment of length 5.6 cm using ruler and compasses. 3. Construct segment AB of length 7.8 cm. From this, cut off segment AC of length 4.7 cm. Measure segment BC. 4. Given segment AB of length 3.9 cm, construct segment PQ such that the length of segment PQ is twice that of segment AB. Verify by measurement. We have a figure of the segment PQ. Hint. Construct segment PX, such that length of segment PX is equal to length of segment AB. Then cut off segment XQ, such that segment XQ also has the length of segment AB. 5. Given segment AB of length 7.3 cm and segment CD of length 3.4 cm, construct a line segment XY such that the length of segment XY is equal to the difference between the lengths of segment AB and segment CD. Verify by measurement. 14.3.2 Constructing a copy of a given line segment Suppose you want to draw a line segment whose length is equal to that of a given line segment AB. A quick and natural approach is to use your ruler. 
which is marked with centimeters and millimeters, to measure the length of segment AB, and then use the same length to draw another line segment CD. A second approach would be to use a transparent sheet and trace line segment AB onto another portion of the paper. But these methods may not always give accurate results. A better approach would be to use ruler and compasses for making this construction. To make a copy of line segment AB, step 1. Given line segment AB, whose length is not known, we have the figure of line segment AB. Page 279. Step 2. Fix the compass's pointer on A and the pencil end on B. The opening of the instrument now gives the length of line segment AB. Step 3. Draw any line L. Choose a point C on L. Without changing the compass's setting, place the pointer on C. Step 4. Swing an arc that cuts L at a point, say D. Now, Line segment CD is a copy of line segment AB. Exercise 14.3 1. Draw any line segment PQ. Without measuring PQ, construct a copy of segment PQ. 2. Given some line segment AB, whose length you do not know, construct line segment PQ such that the length of line segment PQ is twice that of line segment AB. You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 6. Narrator Gaurav Marva. Assistance in Production Soumya Malik. Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary. Presented by CIET NCERT, New Delhi, India.